Welcome back to my YouTube channel code play. Today I will discuss about how to use input and output decorator with event emitter. This is my third video of my this Angular is tutorial series. So let's begin. First to check I have a component app e student. Okay, so uh, we are going to see how we will use event emitter like uh, for input that is sending the data the input decorator used for sending the data and output decorator is used for receiving the data so let's uh, first we have to create here first things the input and output and event emitter how we use I'm going to start now define input assets we have to use the parenthesis here because it's updated now we can uh, Use the parenthesis string equals to blank output output decorator the output event emitter string was of event emitter. Now create another out put output message is a string I am a child. Okay. Now move to next things. Now create a method to push the message. Send value. Now restart. This dot put MSC here. Okay. Now let's create another button here. So button send data. equals to send value now move to add your component file and check here what we need to do here let's try the div welcome in my channel use banana box we have to define here just the title we can make it the title here no problem title here and right here use in Now go to here. The style text line is 
sector no one I am cold play okay next things and now you select the student this is the name of app student app hyphen student okay and this is the selector okay so here just use whatever I have created in app student this is the input message come here and this equals to this and output events to here output is equals to what I have to do call method get giant data caller event okay now come to ds file Okay, now write here the method, whatever we are calling. So go to here and create some this one data console again. Data. Okay, let's check is working or not so run and serve open now it's throwing an error input message not found oh i do one mistake here now as you can see we need to define it here okay so here that one i now just run it again let's see how did this successfully runs this okay i am code play the data everything is here let's see the console that is ready click here i am a child the data i am testing here that is data okay so what you learn from here we can access data from parent to child and child to parent this is the basic concept of input and output decorator with event emitter object okay thank you guys thanks for watching like share and subscribe my YouTube.